Hey everybody, Sam here with your 1245 Prayer Life Devotional for today. It is Monday, January 25th. We are into the last week of January. That is hard to believe, um, but I hope you're doing well. I hope it's been a good start to the year so far uh, and that you had a great weekend. Thanks for taking a moment to join me. Um, I'm going to start today with a few reflections uh, from the Bible passage that I'll read for you. The passage that I'm going to be focusing in on is from Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 9. So if you want to grab your Bible uh, while I'm talking here uh, to follow along, you sure can. Then I'll give you some other passages to read later on today if you have time or later on this week. And then I'll wrap us up uh, in prayer and send us on our way for the rest of our day. Now, in this passage, it's uh, titled The Call of Abram. Now, there's a lot that I kind of connected with and stood out to me. Uh, Abram, kind of in his um, in a later stage in life, was called to move, uh, to follow God's call to a new land uh, and a new experience, and, and to do so uh, with some family members. And it just got me thinking about uh, where I have been in life and, and the places that I've gone, the places that I've lived, the places that I've worked, um, or the places that I've called home. I feel really blessed uh, to be where I'm at uh, and, and live in where I'm at. Um, this is this is a place that um, I've been surrounded by family and, and family have called uh, this place home for many generations. And there will be a reference here uh, when it comes to my passage that I'm about to read that talks about that. The land that God is providing will be a land for many generations to come. And so that stood out to me. And I was just thinking about all of you uh, and where you're coming from and your walks of life and where life has maybe led you. And, and some of the places that you've gone in life may have been from tugs on your heart. Uh, things that you did to follow your heart or follow God's call in your life um, that has kind of led you to to some important steps or important places in your life. And so today, I, I challenge you to reflect back on where life has brought you and, and maybe where you have seen God at work uh, in the midst of your life. And then not only just think about what's been in the past and, and where where you've gone, but where God might be working uh, in and through you uh, today and through the rest of this week and maybe in years to come. Uh, and, and just keep our ears open and our mind open to, to where God might be leading uh, each and every one of us. And so I want you to just think, of, think about that uh, as I read this passage. Maybe there's uh, some other things that stand out to you um, that you'll hold on to uh, throughout today. So go ahead and grab your Bible if you, if you want to follow along. Otherwise, I'll read uh, for you from chapter 12, uh, verse starting with verse 1. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I, that I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai and his brother's son Lot, and all the possessions that they had gathered, and the persons whom he had acquired in Haran. And they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land to the place of Shishim, to the oak of Morah. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent. With Bethel on the east and Ai on the on the east, with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on on by stages toward the Neheb. Here ends our reading. So, like I said, uh, talk about kind of a life change uh, from Abram. Um, 
as he hears a calling from God to, to move and to go somewhere. The other passages, if you get a moment to read later on today, would be from Psalm 46, uh, or you can read from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, uh, 17 through 24. So thanks for taking a moment uh, of your day to join me for prayer life, and can I pray for us uh, as we go about our day? Let us pray. Dear God, I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, to dive into your word uh, and to hear the story of Abram. I pray that as we go about our days, we continue to search our hearts and see where our hearts might be leading us um, to, to live for you and, and to see where you might be calling us or guiding us. I pray that as we go about our week, you continue to Continue to keep us healthy and safe until we are able to meet again. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you soon.